uh, basically um, this honor have all these saints or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Talking about um, those that go into captivity shall go into yeah, captivity and blah blah blah. That's right. Okay, so we're meant to rejoice in those things, man. Are you looking at us like we're that we're evil men? <laughs> but the scripture tells us to rejoice in those things, man, because right. our enemy is falling. Okay, so you know that just goes to show what spirit you're meant to be in, man. You guys ain't in the right spirit. The righteous shall rejoice when he saves the vengeance. He shall wash his feet blood. in the blood of the wicked. Mm. Man, that's some graphic shit. <laughs> All right. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Yeah, righteous judgment, man. And that's all the Lord is doing. He's, he's bringing out righteous judgment because you fuckers are evil, man. Okay, so you you got no one to blame. You know, you got no you got no cover to cover yourself with. It, it is what it is, man. You've been evil. The Lord has let you get away with it for a certain amount of time, but now it's time for the judgment to come down, and that is what we're warning you about and telling you about, man. Okay, it's not us bringing down the judgment. We're just simply telling you what the scriptures tell you, man. Okay, about you can't judge. You have already been judged, man. That's, that's, that's beyond, that's beyond talking right now. Okay, it's not of our own opinion. We tell you what you're doing wrong. According to the scriptures and the judgment for it. Okay. Well, one uh, Psalms one hundred and forty nine and three. It says, "Let them praise his name and in the dance, let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. His people. He will beautify the meek. His with people. Salvation. <laughs> his people are, are the meek. Fair. His people are the ones receiving salvation." So how does everyone like to squeeze themselves in that? You know? And yes, you know? God is a racist because based on that merit, he is a racist. Because he is about his people. Okay? Mm -hmm. His people are going to be saved. Not other people, his people. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Mosai is racist. Yes, Yahweh is racist. We're all racist, man. All, every, everybody on the fucking earth, man, is a racist. Mm -hmm. Everybody prefers their own people over any other people, man. They got a, a, what, a natural um, affection for their own people, man. Can't. That is just normal. That's why you don't let the foreigners coming in. Mm -hmm. Because you're about your own jobs, your own people. Yeah. You don't want your daughter to, you know, marry or, you know, get with some foreigner. Yeah. It's just, it's just a natural thing, man. And you, act, you people acting like it don't fucking exist. Okay, you're just hypocrites, though, man. The Lord is about his own people, man, period, man. And, you know, people should stop fucking arguing about that because it's, it's very evident, man. Okay, that's how the most I set things up, man. Everybody's meant to be with their own people, man. Well, this is the thing because we've been talking about um, inheritance and um, dominion and how this, you know, this we're going to inherit, co we're co-inheritors with you through Yahweh Shai, all right, to rule over you people and, and uh, own you people. And the scripture says, um, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, man. Because yep. the Lord divided and gave every man his his lot. All right, you Elamites, so-called Eastinians, you got you got that yeah, your your part of the world from, from everybody. Everyone's got their own part of the world. You know, the Lord just didn't give you the earth and say, yeah, do what you want. Anywhere I mean, you tried to do anywhere, that. You know, the Lord separated you, man. Yeah. Okay, because the Lord has separated the people. The scripture tells you that, Confounded man. Confounded your language. And gave everybody, yeah, gave everybody their own language, their own plot of land to do whatever they did. Yes, they did trade between other nations, fair enough. But your land and your, your people yeah, were, the were set in a certain place in the earth, man. And you're going to be put back there, man. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be, well, afterwards. Well, yeah, you're going to be correct. <laughs> you're going to be in the mines for a long time. Yeah. But yeah, you're going to go back to your lands and you're going you're to prosper in your lands, man. Fine. Okay, you're going to live nice... Christ, well, yeah, Christian lives, man, compared to what you're living through now. Okay, and that that's the point I'm making in this kingdom, I, I, in this video, man, is that this kingdom isn't, isn't doing anybody any good, man. Everybody yeah, on the planet should want this kingdom to end. Sure. Okay, because even though you got to go through punishment because you're what you've done, your iniquities, your sins, okay, you know, your wickedness against Israel and the Heavenly Father, yeah, you got to go through that. But at the end of all that, man, you're going to live peacefully, man. Okay, everything is going to be okay as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing under the law. Okay, under this man's kingdom, there is no peace for nobody, man. There's no way you can hide. There's always one problem after another, man. If, it, if you can be minding your own business, but he's out there polluting your, your air and your water and your food. So you're like, how do you escape? 
you can't escape the wrath of Esau, man. He, he's too destructive, man. Okay, but at least in the kingdom of heaven, you know, under the rulership of Israel, in your lands, man, you won't, you won't be all right where you are, man. You ain't gonna worry about this fucking shit. And you know, anything that goes on will be judged righteously, man. Okay, you ain't got no guarantees with Esau. Like, he he mostly come see a problem, come in, destroy a man's land, and take take your shit. Yeah. Oh, there's oil there. You know, it is any excuse, man. Esau fine to take. Okay, but in the in the in the in the uh, in the kingdom, man, it ain't gonna be like that, man. Which we're gonna get into in a, in a minute. We will end it on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, continue reading that then. All right. Uh, it says, "Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword." Let's jump. We're gonna start from five. It says, "Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds." Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Okay, so there is a time we, we speak the judgment that's going to come upon you through the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, but there's going to come a time where we're going to execute the judgment. Okay, we, we, as, as the scripture tells you um, from, from, uh, from being fishers, being made into hunters. Okay, that's when we're going to execute judgment, man. Okay, so... You know, I mean, you should worry about it now, but you won't really worry about it in that, in that time, okay? About what we're doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Going up. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Yep. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Okay, so we'll put you into slavery. Okay, and your people, you peoples are going to follow in suit, man. Those of you that survive, okay? To execute upon them the judgment. What is it? The judgment. Yeah, the next word. Written. Written. It's written. <clears throat> what we're saying is nothing from what is written in the scriptures. It's already been decided. Anybody and the scriptures is what is the, is the measuring stick, man. You know, you say to somebody, "Oh, you shouldn't be doing that," and you know they buck up and that, and you say, "Well, you're gonna be destroyed if you don't do that." And he's acting like. It's something that I'm just deciding, man. No, it's already written in the scriptures. You know, that's what you got to worry about. What's written in the scriptures, man? A man can say many things, man, but if he's convicting you with the scriptures, man, that is that's game over for you, man. You better change your ways. Almost, I'm surely going to destroy you, man. And you walk away thinking, oh, you know, sh that shit ain't going to happen to me. I'm going to continue to do my wickedness. And then, you know, that day comes, <laughs> you know, and you, get, and you get jacked up. Okay, what have you got there? Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. That's the Lord towards his elect, right? His servants. Say if the Lord, thoughts of peace. The only people that the Lord has thoughts of peace is towards the men that do sigh and cry. And not of evil to give you an expected end. Why is it an expected end? Because it's written. Because it's written. You know, you know, well, at the end of the day, we're, we're prophets, right? Okay, so the Most High has given us understanding of these scriptures, of the prophecies. Okay, that's why it's an expected end, because we already know what's going to happen. We already know what the prophecies detail, you know, how things are going to go. We're just looking at the, the, the small little bits that, you know, get us there. Okay, that's why we watch the news, you get the articles up and, you know, we follow things, man. Okay, because we know where it's heading towards, man. So it's not a surprise to us. We just have to simply watch and and you know update our people, man. Okay. You know, that's that's what it's about. Warn our people. Okay? Is that on it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, finish that off and we'll get into Isaiah chapter two. To execute upon them the judgment written, dishonor, have all his saints, praise ye the Lord. That's right. Honor. It's all it's our honor, man. Okay, so whatever you're going through, man, you know, the hardships and that, that's all part of your honor. Okay, because you're, you're going to be glorified in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai when the time comes, man. You know, if you're enduring to the end, then Lord willing. Okay, but that's all a part of your honor, man. It's an honor to go through those things. Okay, to be be there, you know, be a part of this thing, man. Okay. But, um, yeah, we're going to end it on, on this, and this probably brings out anything afterwards. But um, Isaiah chapter 2, um, verse 1, just read down to the fourth. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. The word of I, the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days 
that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Okay, so Israel is going to be the, 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 the mountain that, that nation is established above all nations. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like you know, beginning with the prophecy of Daniel. Okay, go on. And shall be exalted excuse me, above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob, house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. What my question is, if everybody's gonna if any if the Lord can be saved anybody from any nation, why why is it still God of Jacob? Mm -hmm. If the Lord is he made a, a peace covenant with the whole of all nations and the all nations, you know, the righteous people are, if if it's such a thing. Righteous people out in these other nations. Why is it still the God of Jacob? Why wouldn't it just be the God of the righteous or something yeah. like that? No, because the Lord ain't dealing like that, man. Yeah, the Lord is dealing with Jacob. <laughs> okay, otherwise that infringes on the prom promise that he made to Jacob. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why you can't... They, that's what I'm saying. Even at the very concept or at the beginning of that promise, you heathens can't be in. You can't come in. Because that goal is, it violates the promise. So all this talk about what happened after is kind of irrelevant, man. Mm -hmm. Because if you if that was to happen, that just infringes on on the blessing of of Jacob, man, and that can't come yeah. to pass then. Yeah, can't. You know? But yeah, we're going up. The Lord uh, of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains. Oh, that's a, that's another point as well. Why would we need to teach them our ways? Yeah, that's a good point. If 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 they're righteous men too. Why would they have to learn from Jacob still? Because huh. you're going off, man. You nations are not... You're never been... The Lord's never dealt with you, man. Righteousness is according to the law, so... Yeah. <laughs> Lord, Lord said he never dealt with any other nation, man. He's not dealing with you. That's you not got the truth. None of you got the truth, man. You, you heathen have not got the truth. And that's why in the kingdom, you're going to come to us to learn our ways. Our laws. That's right. Okay, because you, you're not on point. It's as simple as that. But we're going we're gonna, to... Establish our law throughout the earth, man. So you're gonna have to know, or you're gonna get punished. Okay, go yeah, on. and the law is gonna be written in our hearts. That's right, it's not yeah. gonna be written well, that's in the their covenant. hearts. That's the covenant. <laughs> you know, covenant he, was made Hebrews, with man. Um, this, is, this is the covenant I will make in those days with, with, the, with Israel. Yeah, not with not everybody. So, how are you gonna how are you gonna do that? You can't, you can't be saved. <laughs> you can't be saved, man. The law ain't dealing with you like that. Okay. But yeah, continue what um, it says, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob, house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. I notice that you, you heathens, these, these other nations, don't do this beforehand. Before the kingdom is here. Okay, because why? Because you can't be saved, man. The law is no good to you. The, the righteousness, learning, like learning from us is, is pointless. Because mm. you, it's not, it's not in your spirit to do that. Okay, but this is my, this is my point. Is that if if you really was righteous, man, you'd be wanting the end of this kingdom. And you'll be wanting to learn these things. But guess what? It's not set up for you to do that, man. Because you're going to be punished with the kingdom, with this, with this current kingdom. Okay, all people are gonna get out of this is the Lord's elect. Okay, because they're the only ones that really want the end of this kingdom. Everybody wants to set up their own thing. You know? But that's not that's not the kingdom of heaven, man. This is not the kingdom of heaven. So you should you should there should be no way anybody wants this place to go on. Okay? But continue Bob. It's uh verse four. Actually, in fact, I want before we read verse four, I wanted to read uh, just a precept Deuteronomy because they're going to be coming to us for the laws, right? Mm -hmm. Well, going back all the way back into Deuteronomy four and uh, six, and start from five. It says, "Behold, I have taught you statutes, talking about Israel, and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do." So in the land whether ye go to possess it. So we're gonna rule the earth. Wherever we go, we're gonna establish the law. Yep. Keep therefore and do them. So this ain't talking about everybody. Mm -hmm. 
this for this is your your, wis your, your wisdom. wisdom and your understanding yeah. in the sight of the, the nations. nations that's a division separate we shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation mm -hmm. Israel is a wise and understanding people yeah. for what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them because the Lord already revealed himself unto Israel as our scriptures say yeah and it's going to be evident when you see the Lord's return mm -hmm. as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for and what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which is going to be written in our minds like the brother said Hebrews 8 which I set before you this day so yeah that's the yeah. point on that man mm -hmm. uh, last, last verse in Isaiah 2 and 4 and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they lean no. learn mm -hmm. war anymore that's right now the whole idea of you know a better world is peace right you know everyone agrees that you know, the world should be at peace there shouldn't be fucking shit going on all the damn time right but the only way you can do that is if the law was, is, is, is reigning. You're not going to get that under the devil, man. Okay, this is Satan's kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. The so-called white man's kingdom, man. He's in rulership, man. And he ain't doing nothing to change that, man. He is about war. He is about destroying people and nations and putting people into poverty. He is about that. Okay, that's how he stays afloat. Okay? But like I said... Before you can get the peace, we have to go for war. This kingdom has to be destroyed first. And then we go get peace. Okay? People ain't gonna be fighting each other no more, man. People ain't gonna be starving unless they fuck up. They ain't gonna be starving. But unless they, unless they fuck up, you know, against um, uh, the Mosai, they, you know, they uh, don't come when they're summoned. Okay, and whatever. The Lord go and punish them, but, you know, sending no rain. Yeah, can revelations look. Wow. You know, or you 11, know, or, 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 eleven, I think. Yeah, or some other judgment, man. Okay, that's the only time you get jacked up when you ain't doing your damn told. Okay, but peace is gonna be flourishing in in the world, man. All the trees are gonna be happier. The earth is gonna be happier, man. Everything is gonna be blessed because the world is made for our sake. So it has to be blessed, man. Because otherwise, it'll be a blight unto us, man. If you got parts of the world just all fucked up, man. What's that saying for the keepers? You ain't keeping it right. Just as Esau's not keeping it right. That's why all the sea life are dying and all kinds of shit's happening. Birds dropping from the sky, deserts and all these kind of things. You know, Esau creating deserts on the, on the earth and shit. You know, that's because of his rulership, man. But like I said, this kingdom has to be destroyed first for a righteous, a great righteous kingdom to come after it, man. Where everybody's going to get what they want. Well, I'd say everybody, not everybody going to get what they want because a lot of these things shouldn't even be. Abominations on the earth shouldn't be. Period, is it, you know. But the, the world is going to be a, a blessed place, you know, after after that war, man. I've got verse 5. It says, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord, which that light represents uh, righteousness, which really represents Yahweh Shai himself. Mm, all right, true, which is you know, Yahweh Shai is the truth, he is the law, he is the word. All right, and um, Yahweh Shai himself actually said that he is that light. It's John 9 and 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. There you go, man. Yeah, but everyone's gonna conduct themselves in that light, man. Okay, but we're gonna be the keepers, we are, we are the keepers of that light. Okay, right. that's that's our role upon the earth, man, as 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 gods, man, to keep that light and to you know in that time to enforce it amongst the nations, man. Okay, right now, like I said, this is Esau's kingdom and he's got everything you know, chaotic, man. Okay, ain't nothing right about this place, man. So you know we're all too happy to see it go. Okay, but some people are hanging on, hanging on in there, you know trying to cling to Esau's kingdom like it's going to last forever man knowing full damn well that no kingdom has ever lasted forever man okay why because it was never prophesied to last forever the only one that's going to last forever is the kingdom of heaven that is what every, every man should want upon the earth okay if you're if you're righteous or so called righteous 
you know? But a lot of you are dying fucking hypocrites, man. This is Matthew 18 and 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And Yahweh Shire is that light that is within us, man. All right? Just to um, expand on that point again. You know? Yeah. So like I said, if you want true peace and, you know, what, truly, truly a better earth yeah. and that kind of stuff, man, then this place needs to go. Okay, and I ain't got a problem with, 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 with the war and how I should come and destroy the nations and enslave you people and beat sense into you, basically. Okay, I, I, I'm all for that, man. Okay, like I said, anybody want, wanting that should be for it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, it shouldn't be so against us about wanting a, a better world, man. Who don't want a better world, man? Yeah, That's yeah. maybe something we can we got in common, man. But a better world doesn't include abominations and, and wicked, wicked laws and all this kind of stuff, man. That's all going to get X'd out, man. Because we're going to conduct ourselves by the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Yahu Shai. Okay, right. which is that righteous law, man. So, yeah, fuck this place, man. Okay, this, this, this is all going to come tumbling down real soon, man. Okay, and you can watch it happen, man. You're going to see us on the highways and the hedges into it, into all hell breaks loose, man. So, you know, with that... Yeah, I was just, just going to add one little last thing uh, just to expand upon that light, man. Um, you know, Yahweh Shai is that light and he's not here physically. But he he is the word, okay? But then he's here with us spiritually. But then physically, he's going to return, man. And you're going to see the light it, himself. All right? But yeah, man, spiritually, Yahweh Shai is the word. And, you know, that's when the scriptures talks about light. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right? In those particular verses that we read. So anyway, yeah. yeah. So like I said, it's all this place, man. It's gone. Okay, so until next time, I'll come and say Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. We'll catch you, bros, on the next video. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.